I've been getting a lot of questions about the new 335 odd defense, and I wanted to break down how the blitz works in this video and how you can actually uh, just lab blitzes in general because I'm not 100% familiar with this defense, but I do understand the basic concept and tenet of how the blitz works. We actually did a full, pretty much full uh, breakdown on 335 odd in our Patreon. If you guys want to get access to that, that was like months ago too. That was like a, a one or two months ago. And I feel like that defense still just absolutely screams. It's very effective. Now, if you want to check that out, the link's going to be in the description. So basically what you're going to do with your 335 odd defense is in pretty much every defense this year, you want to have auto flip off. And the main thing we're trying to accomplish is we're trying to essentially pressure up the left side a gap as that is the best way to blitz this year. So uh, we've, we've turned 335 odd off and we're going to flip the formation so as you see here tampa 2 it has this kind of stunting blitz to the right cover three sky has a stunting blitz to the right cover one robber has a stunting blitz to the right so hopefully you see all of the basic all of the main plays in the formation have it but we're going to specifically focus on hot blitz three so what we're going to do with this is pretty simple actually i might have told you wrong um you're just going to blitz this guy right here okay and then you can zone this guy out you can zone this guy out a lot of times, this is going to come through the A-gap, as you can see, for the most part. Now, what we can do to kind of make this blitz a little bit better, and one of the interesting things about 335-odd in general, is you can just crash your D-line to the right, blitz your user, or blitz, your, blitz the linebacker here, and basically just kind of stack him. And a lot of times, this will come through that A-gap, just like it would in any of the other formations in this game. So uh, we're going to go back out. I don't think Hot Blitz 3 is how they were actually running it now that I look at it a little bit. They might have been, it might have been a specific crash or something. But I think in general, you can literally run this out of anything. I think you can run it out of pretty much any, any play in the formation because it really just, you just need this guy going to the left. That's pretty much it. So we're literally just going to blitz the linebacker and we're not going to do anything else. And we're going to just look at the blitz. And as you can see, the blitz comes through the A gap every single time. Um, so it's a very effective blitz, but it is a five man blitz. So now what we're going to do is we're going to zone out that linebacker on the left side and see if the blitz still comes in and as you can see it doesn't come in now there's a couple different options that you have defensively a couple things we could do first thing is we could pinch our defensive line and then we could blitz this guy through the a gap like so and maybe move him in just a, a smidge so you see here do that and this blitz now is starting to resemble a little bit more what we've kind of become accustomed to this year in terms of the main ways that you want to be blitzing. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of keep tinkering just slightly here and uh, we're going to shift our D or actually we're not going to, we're not going to crash on this time. We're just going to stand just like this. See if we can get this to come in. And there you see, we get it. The idea, the whole concept here guys is we're trying to blitz from depth. That is the concept. Now, the cool part is you can easily send five out of this. So if you want to send five man, all you got to do is just globally blitz your linebackers. And then now, like if they block a running back or something, a lot of times you see here, it's going to come continue to come through the A gap. So that's another little factor. Now, the other cool part about the, the way the defense is kind of laid out for you is you can back this slot corner off. So if you want to be baseline, baseline press style, you can do that. And then as you see here, this basically looks exactly like the dollar blitz. Now, what I would do with this is I would probably contain and then I would re-blitz the right side guy. Um, actually, it did change the blitz angle on the left side, so it's probably not going to work. Yep, unfortunate. So I'll show it to you one more time. But again, this is this is the whole process of labbing and learning. And when you see somebody do something for the first time on the MCS stage and you want to learn it, just go into practice mode and test it out. See if you could figure out what they're doing. And, and, and really, it comes back to why are they doing what they're doing? So why is the linebacker on the left side? Why is the um, you know, why is it the way it is? Right. That's what we're trying to see. But as you can see, within a couple of minutes here, we've got this blitz kind of working. Now, another thing you see a lot of a lot of these guys do, uh, which I really think is kind of interesting, you could probably do something like this. So you see how he's still on that angle, but now we're kind of creating um, like a little bit of a crossfire style uh, concept to it. That's another thing that you saw them doing. I'm not sure exactly why they would do that. Um, I do think that they spread this linebackers um, as well. And then from there, you know, normally they were moving him in from what I saw. I would probably still pinch the D-line. And honestly, if I pinched the D-line, I'd probably have that blitzer more so out there 
than what they were doing. They were kind of bringing them inside. They probably know more than I do because obviously they've been running the defense for quite some time, but it is what it is. So anyways, these are just kind of some of the basic tenets of like how the defense works. Just a simple, And I like to just pinch my D-line here. I think that's pretty good. And then typically, like I said, they would kind of move this guy, move this gap so that he could run clean through the A-gap. See here, runs clean through the A-gap, and it's able to get in. Now, ultimately, Drini did end up losing to... Uh, young Henry, uh, but uh, King Henry. But uh, anyway, you know, it is what it is. He was able to get a couple stops uh, throughout the tournament with this defense. I do think this defense is very similar to everything that we've seen before. So there's not necessarily new in terms of a concept. It's just a different way to get at the same concept from a different formation. 335 out of forward, some other, maybe some other options that we don't know about. Last thing I will say about this is it looked like to me, if they really wanted to send pressure, they would blitz this corner off the edge. And then either A, they'd leave this linebacker blitzing like we talked about, or they would zone this guy out and then basically have it to where it looks like this. So let's see how this works against a blocked running back. As you see, the whole line of scrimmage went to the right side of the screen. And so there's definitely a different pass protection method for this, uh, which is yet another reason why I think this defense is really good. Now, if you spread this out and kind of tried to make it more like a 3-3-5 normal type of defense, as you can see, it, it, it still um, you know, gets really good pressure and is pretty solid all at all. So anyway, this is the 3-3-5 odd defense. Again, I think there's a lot of different ways in which you could run this defense. I think there's uh, the idea of just manually moving the A-gap blitzer really is something that a lot of people haven't even thought about um, that could that, that could actually significantly impact how how well and how effective the blitz works. So that's kind of something for you to lab on your own. I'll show you one little cool application of this out of just a random formation. Let's talk about Tampa 2 out of uh, Dime 146, right? Because this is a really good formation. So with this defense, if you pinch your defense, you notice it pinches these guys, right? But this guy's a linebacker, so we can just drag him back up over the A-gap like this, and now look what we're in. We're basically in the same kind of deal that Dollar's in, but it's from a different formation, different alignment. So that's how you can cross-apply concepts in Madden and how these pro players can consistently year over year always find the best stuff because they know how to lab and they know how to find stuff and actually cross apply concepts to make their own defenses. Thanks for watching the video guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. We're going to do some more with this kind of content, but that's pretty much how the three, four odd or three, three, five odd blitz works. And the cool part is you can apply this concept to almost any formation in the game.